I miss unique set designs and stages in WWE. Where did they go? When I religiously used to tune into Raw and SmackDown as a kid, I was instantly hyped for the show when the pyro would go off and you would see all these crazy zooms and camera cuts before finally, you would get a shot of the set and then the rowdy fans in the crowd. You would instantly be greeted by the commentary teams of JR and Jerry the King Lawler or Michael Cole and Taz welcoming you to Raw or SmackDown respectively, and everything felt right in the world. I know not everybody can get nostalgic for these stages because they either stopped watching wrestling by the time the Ruthless Aggression era rolled around, or some of you guys are just too young to remember. When I think of the many things that made WWE special around this time, TV sets and the pay-per-view stages are one of the first things that pop into my head. Around 2001 and 2002, the SmackDown and the Raw sets got a fresh new coat of paint to signify that a new era was among us. The Attitude Era was officially over, and the Ruthless Aggression Era was rolling in. And I kinda just realized this when looking at these photos, but SmackDown has always had Raw beat when it came to the design of the TV sets. The Ovaltron was pretty cool and unique, but the SmackDown Fist was an absolute thing of beauty. I might be a bit biased since I was Team SmackDown growing up, but I genuinely believe the SmackDown Fist was one of the best things WWE ever created. There's a reason why fans still to this day beg for WWE to bring this set back. And the closest we've ever gotten to that, and probably ever will, was this garbage. Sometimes, whenever there was a draft in the 2000s, you got this cool looking stage, which was a combination of both the Raw and SmackDown sets. The creative juices that were flowing throughout WWE back then weren't just limited to Raw and SmackDown, they brought that same energy to their pay-per-views. The opening of WWE pay-per-views was always pretty cool because when they started, a dramatic video package would play and then once it was done, the pyro in the arena would shoot off and then you could get a look at what unique stage design WWE decided to cook up. Disregarding the WrestleMania stages, some of the coolest sets WWE ever displayed were from Backlash 2002, Vengeance 2005, the 2006 Royal Rumble, Judgment Day 05, four and five, and any of the pay-per-view sets when WWE would host them in Madison Square Garden. Although this is from the Attitude Era, King of the Ring 2001 had an insane set design, so I couldn't ignore it. Getting a better look at some of these sets, I can't imagine the time and effort that not only went into designing these stages, but assembling them on the day of the show. I definitely have gratitude for the set designers and the workers because that definitely wasn't an easy job. But more often than not, they always hit it out of the park and created some designs that are still talked about even to this day. These stages really helped to set the tone of the show, and it's pretty wild that even with WWE probably got a pay-per-view every single month, the one thing that stayed constant is that us fans were going to set our eyes on a new stage design which subconsciously made the event feel even more special. WWE would continue to do what they had done for years, and pay-per-view stages at times could even outdo themselves. 2008 rolled around, and once again, it was time for the TV sets to get a new fresh coat of paint to signify that a new era was being ushered in. And it was time for something new, but great, right? Mmm, yeah, the HD TV sets. They weren't horrible by any means, but they weren't great either, especially since for years at this point, Raw and SmackDown had their own unique stages to match the theme of the show, but that was no longer a thing now. I wouldn't have minded if this set was specifically made for Raw and they created a different one for SmackDown, but it wasn't that big of a deal. The HD stage was now a mainstay for both the red and blue brand for years to come and would get some slight updates over the years. These sets weren't anything too crazy, but at least we were still getting the special pay-per-view sets and we ended up getting some really cool ones like Night of Champions 2008 and Money in the Bank and Capital Punishment in 2011. Like I mentioned in the About section on my page, I stopped watching WWE in late 2012 or early 2013 because the product just wasn't interesting to me anymore. But I got back into wrestling in 2020 when we were all stuck at home with nothing to do. It wasn't until around 2021 when I decided to try to get back into WWE a little bit after the Tribal Chief storyline had started and I was really enjoying myself at the time, but that only lasted for a couple of months until I stopped watching entirely. I genuinely tried to give it a chance, but I've come to the realization that the modern day product just isn't for me and that's okay. I only tune in now when there's big events such as WrestleMania, but other than that, I don't really keep up with it. During those couple of months that I watched SmackDown, I couldn't help but to notice just how much the product had changed. Granted, it had been years since I've watched the product, so changes should have been happening, and there were some welcome ones that I liked. But for the most part, I was constantly asking myself, why did they get rid of that? That's part of what made the product cool. And one of the many things that WWE overhauled over the years that made the product special was, you guessed it, unique pay-per-view stages. With the exception of WrestleMania and maybe a few other events, whenever it's showtime, all they do is change the graphics and the coloring on the LED screens, and boom, that's it. Even the posters from back then were better than the ones they make now. Granted, part of that might have to do with the fact that they were pumping out VHS tapes and DVDs back then, but still, come on. 
There's fans like me who still to this day question why WWE stopped being creative with their TV sets and their pay-per-view stages, or fans who asked for them to bring them back. So if that's the case, then why did WWE get rid of them? The answer isn't exactly concrete, but the most likely reason is simply this. Money. Although it was reported in 2022 that WWE is now making more money than it ever has and has broken old records and is now setting new ones even amidst all the drama from that year, they're trying to cut costs as much as they can in order to save money. From a business standpoint, it makes sense. Those sets probably cost an insane amount of money to have manufactured and they could have potentially had to hire extra staff to help set them up. And once again, they put on a pay-per-view every single month. So that's hundreds and thousands of dollars that's being taken out of the company's pocket. And considering the fact that that they like to go all out for WrestleMania, that's even more money being spent. Getting rid of unique sets and saving the money for WrestleMania season is a great financial decision, but I'm a fan. I'm not a WWE investor, so it benefits them, not me. Now I can't explain why they can't at least have unique designs for their TV sets instead of super big LED screens, but that just seems to be an industry standard at this point. Also, the trend of minimalism is a huge thing for companies now, even though tons of consumers complain how bland and boring their new logos are in comparison to their old ones. The saying that you don't appreciate what you have until it's gone really rings true here. Growing up and watching WWE, there were so many aspects of the product that made it special that don't really exist today. One of those things was unique set designs, which weren't just limited to TV, but WWE really made sure they went all out for their sets for their monthly pay-per-views. Unique stages were something that I really took for granted, and now that they're gone, I'm desperate for them to make a comeback. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments section what's your favorite TV or pay-per-view stage design. Don't forget to hit the like button, and if you want more content about the Attitude Era and the Ruthless Aggression Era, to hit the subscribe button. I'm GEG and I wish WWE would bring unique stages back.